So I'm just about ready to pot this motor. I've got my six phase wires run out. It was not easy. I chamfered the edges inside there um, just to make sure no sharp edges. And then what I'm going to do is um, <clears throat> the last stage is I'll actually pot where the wires come through this uh, cover here so that it holds them in place. Um, <clears throat> this wouldn't be a motor I would plan to use for hundreds of thousands of kilometers. This is more of a race motor. It'll get used for a weekend warrior kind of car. So to get the potting down on the bottom, let's clarify something. So first off, the potting <clears throat> is to pull heat from the windings into the aluminum housing. Um, I've probably said it in previous videos, but these windings are enamel coated and then they run through slot paper <clears throat> in the stator housing. So they have a very poor thermal path between the, the actual winding itself, the copper of the winding to the aluminum housing of the stator or of, yeah, the housing for the stator. The housing is liquid cooled, which is great, but the only thing kind of conducting heat other than like radiation, just from if they glow red or whatever, um, <clears throat> is the windage of the rotor. Oh, I got a razor blade that's stuck to it. I gotta get that off there. Um, <clears throat> the windage of the rotor, which it's a smooth rotor, but there'll still be a bit of wind that comes off it and blows air out to the how um, through the windings to the housing. That's a very slow, poor path, especially with this rotor that's smooth and not bumpy or anything. Um, another thing <clears throat> you can do is you can put some ATF oil in there so that the rotor slings it out and flings it and centrifugally the oil from the windage inside will stick between the windings and the housing. That does help, but this potting from Epic Resins I got should actually do the trick. This can weighs like 25 pounds. It's crazy heavy. Um, and then some activator. So basically what I'm going to do is <clears throat> the big goal is to pot the end turns, all the windings on the ends of the stator on both sides, because it's really hard to get the potting to drop down through the slot paper all the way down. The goal is to get it to go as far as I can. So I got some <clears throat> party balloons here. I'm going to actually blow up and put inside and hold the air gap in the middle where the rotor has to slide back in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and pour potting down in the bottom um, cavity, which would be where these windings and turns are on the other side and try and get it to go between the cap and the hosing as much as possible there. And I'll fill that up as much as I can down there. I think I have about the right amount in this can to do this motor and I'll have a little left if I'm lucky. And then what I'll do is <clears throat> once I've got that good, I'll probably either let that cure or put my balloons in and then pour this side and the goal is to hope that gravity will pull it down through the the windings into the uh, slot paper a little ways but the the number one thing is to get it to conduct from these entrance to the housing because that'll cool off there's a lot of heat generator in the entrance the whole winding itself is going to be getting hot but by pulling heat from each end of the stator out to the housing quicker it'll help the motor um, run cooler <clears throat> so it'll help cool faster so if you did a run where you're winding say your windings get to 200 degrees um, celsius or something because you're pushing it really hard well that'll drop from 200 back down really fast because it'll be conducting from the end turns even in the middle it'll conduct it'll conduct its heat out through the length of the winding back to the end turns to the housing but not only that is <clears throat> it'll start at a lower temperature if you had previously run it. So the start of a drag race, I'll do a burnout. Well, that burnout will put a bit of heat in the winding. So having that winding cool back off to a lower temperature before I start my drag race will actually help. Or if you're running a road, a road course where you're doing three, four laps, every straightaway, you're gonna be heating up the windings. And then when you let off the throttle, even during regen, regen's probably not going to be as strong as acceleration. It's going to do some um, cooling or, you know, an, in a corner where you're applying light throttle, it's going to be doing some cooling. So <clears throat> the goal is to get the, the continuous and peak power up, but actually peak power won't go up other than the fact that I can run dual controllers. The motor was not the bottleneck so far. The controller and the battery packs, the bottleneck, which running dual controllers will be the ticket. 
yeah, you can solve it with a bigger hammer and make a really big controller, but it's easier to run dual controllers to two separate sets of windings than it is to run a bigger, than, than it is to design a bigger controller. Um, we're, we do have a higher power controller coming, but nonetheless, this will be the start of my potting videos. So hopefully I get a couple of these together. Um, I'm about to figure out how to um, probably put some tape over that bearing um, spot and then basically um, figure out how I can pour some potting down there to get it to fill up that cavity on the bottom. So as I go to start mixing my potting compound, I quick, re quickly re remember the um, <laughs> Um, I can't remember his name, Matt uh, Epic Resins, who sold it to me, telling me that it pours pretty thick. So <laughs> I might have to rethink this a little bit, but not too bad. I think I can use a bit of heat to uh, make it um, um, a little more, a little less viscous, so I can actually um, get it to to wick to where it has to go. So I'll uh, maybe use the heat gun or something and make it thin out a little bit so when it's going in the bottom part at least it'll soak to where it has to go definitely pretty funny stuff though realized i made my first mistake um i forgot to seal off where the wires come out on the bottom so it's basically um made a puddle of potting compound inside there if you can see that <clears throat> kind of hard to show in the camera but um it's definitely in there so <clears throat> I've, I've taped around the area to try and retain it as much as possible, but you can see it's kind of puddling underneath the motor. I'm gonna have a lot of work cleaning that up. What I was hoping is down in there, you can see it's like draining on that side where the wires come out. Um, what I was hoping was that it would set up and gel and plug off that hole so I could just fill it with a one more fill and be good. but it's not gelling fast enough um and i can heat it up to make it gel faster but then it also becomes more runny <laughs> so it's like a catch-22 i'm not sure which way to go with that um it should have already gelled it's been about 45 minutes since i've mixed it but it is below that's it says 45 minutes at room temperature which is 20 well at 25 degrees celsius Unfortunately, it's more like 19 degrees Celsius in the shop today, maybe 18. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's going to be a bit of a tricky one. I should have plugged that off and I don't want to waste all my resin. I'm just hoping, um, just hoping it'll gel and work in my favor. Once it plugs off its own escape, then I can just fill it up and I'll have to like carve that out of there later on to, to put the other external cover on. But yeah. Definitely learning. Um, I I knew this from potting some other projects in a um, in a contract I did with the company a while ago, but I totally forgot about this. Um, totally overlooked the the wires. Kind of tried getting going in a hurry because I um, just want to get things done. I can't stand you know taking too long prepping something. So, anyways, we'll see how this works out. All right, so I finally um, just popped the balloon. Basically, I'll post a couple of pictures. This is still tacky. It'll take um, probably a week or two to cure up completely. But, um, and I can raise that a little bit, elevate the temperature in here to cure it faster. <clears throat> um, but the, this side, where's where all the um, end turns are that have no connections, they're all just one continuous turn. The other side was where the connections are. So what I did is I actually filled through here and um, put a put one of these um, solo cups down in the middle and um, <clears throat> also taped over the bearing hole so I can clean that out later and I think I got that about the right depth down on the bottom there <clears throat> and then basically got uh, what I think is really good potting here on the top surface to pull the heat from the end turns out now you can see it did soak the um, potting down into the windings a little bit but I don't know how far it got down in between the slots. I would have to guess that it's not too far in there. <clears throat> but simply cooling the end turns and pulling the heat to the housing on each end will probably be a huge benefit. So pretty excited about this. I think it's coming along good. The balloon trick actually worked really well. I'll see if I can peel more of this um, 
balloon off here. Yeah, it's not going to come off easy because that potting sticks pretty good, which is a good thing. We want it to stick to everything and anything. So anyways, pretty excited.